So, Max, question. Yeah. Is this a dog race fo uh, poster? No, that's a brick wall, stupid. <sighs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Legend of, Legend of Ocarina Master of Link 3D Rhino Max. You fuck off. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> More stuff. More things. All right, so it's normally that way, so I need to go this way. I'm, what I'm is getting... it you're trying to do this time around? Oh, I was just gonna go to the go to the guard up here and show him my letter and get started on death. Before mountain. you do that, I just because I want to uh, go to the graveyard. Let's get a couple things to the graveyard first, if only because I'm I want to see if there's a certain dialogue or something. Okay. Graveyard. I, uh, I clipped through the world there. <laughs> That's gonna happen a bit. Because whenever you enter a new area, it just keeps you moving in the direction you were going. <laughs> Alright. So... Let me check the map here. Hmm. Hmm. Double. Hmm. Interesting. Nuts. Rip. Here lie the souls of those who swore fate. The Sheikah, guardians of the royal family and founders of Kakariko. Watch over these. Okay, goodbye. It's just a shack with a heater? Alright. What the fuck? That's a little boy. Oh, I thought it was like young Dante or something. Little kids can't go on the heart pound and grave taking tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dante the Gravekeeper all day. Oh, well, good to know I was accurate in my assumption. With my cute face, I'm not heart pounding at all, am I? Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm getting memories. <laughs> I, of what the you economy. Do. All right, find a grave, or you could. You, yeah, you know what? Examine that those that grave right there, the the one on the left. Royal Composer Bros. Flat the younger. Rip. Oh. Oh, what the. Turn, turn, damn it. Deku nut them when they're invisible. Deku nut them? When they're invisible, yeah. Oh, does it not work for these ones? Okay. I guess it doesn't work for these ones. For the most part, pose that, you, what, that are uh, invisible, if you deku nut them, they will turn visible. I guess it doesn't work for these ones. He's just constantly going invisible. Fuck this. Fuck you, you're mean. <laughs> All right, well, go back to go back to that grave and play Zelda's all by at least. Uh, nope. It's Zay. There is also... Yeah, there... I know! I, my thumb slipped. <laughs> la, la, la. Ah, you played such a nice, peaceful, soothing lullaby. That the sun came out? Nope. Nope. So nice and peaceful. Oh, 
Uh, and the Poe's just watching over there. Congratulations, you destroyed the royal family's tomb. Neat. Yeah, I believe if you kill, uh, if you kill the composers, they, uh, they basically say, yeah, go play Zelda's lullaby there and you'll get a, you'll get a thing. Yeah. Just go get the sun song. Fuck, keys are around. But no, no. You no. have a slingshot. I know, but I wasn't locking on to any of them. The hell's that? That's one of those... That's a place on the ground where you can play a song to make hearts appear or something, basically. It's nothing special. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Now run to the end. Oh, fuck. Run to the end. I'm trying. Run through the green stuff. It's worth it to avoid the reed heads. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. Well, isn't that nice? Here's a poem for those who died. Babies die. <laughs> <laughs> From sun to moon, moon to sun. And stars ride all the way. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. Tell that to the re-deads. I mean, that's what this does. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something else is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. YRA, YRA. Era. Yes, I dragged right these out. Look, I, I blazed through the other two songs I learned. I'm dragging this one out. Yay. It became nighttime. Neat. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun's song. Neat. So yeah, that also freezes redeads. Cool. Now I gotta go back through that, don't I? Play the sun song. YRA. <laughs> How long does that last? Decent length of time. All right. Now there's one other grave that you need to go to, or that you should go to. Uh. Not that one. Are you, are you gonna? Are you actually gonna fight this thing? Or I was trying to lock on to it. I let Dom pays around. 
Yeah. You want you want to do the grave digging tour? Oh wait. Uh. Uh. uh nut. What the? Nut. Nut. What? The trick doesn't work, Max. Okay, it definitely does work on a certain pose. I guess it only works on those pose. Which is stupid. Nut. Being a bitch, Poe. <laughs> What's up, Dompy? Hey, kid. Don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompey the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. But are you damp? That's very personal. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Grave robbing. <laughs> Dompey the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave digging tour. What's going to come out? What's going to come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Hey. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Have him dig on the dirt patches. I don't think you want him to dig just in, on the pathway. <laughs> hey, I got 20 got rupees. Yeah. There's a gold skull so you can't get. <laughs> he had to catch his breath. <sighs> Give him a break, man. He's old. Is he? <laughs> I hope so. It's the only explanation. Uh, oh. I was really like, I mean, yeah. gets you an extra chance. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got another All try. Alright, we're continuing. No, don't do... Are you fucking kidding me? It's almost like pulling the graves out makes ghosts appear. Yeah, drink your milk, Rhino. <laughs> Dombey does not care. Yeah, now then. Damn it. <laughs> huh? All right. <sighs> There's a particular grave I have to pull look different. Yes. I I'm wait I'm going to wait until after we're done with uh, with this before I take you to it. Alright, we're done. Okay. Alright. Uh, head down. I believe it's in this row. Uh, they yes, that one. You just went past it. They all the That's same. Flowers, of, flowers in front of it. Uh oh. Huh. Chest. Ooh! Free Equip shield. it! Gear. Gear. Oh, you're getting the nut. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're a turtle. Macarena. <laughs> I'm glad you let me go through that whole thing. I was debating stopping halfway, but I was like, nah, I commit. <laughs> you were having a moment. <laughs> I had to release all, right. all the stress from doing this. Alright, now you can go uh, show the guard the letter and stuff. He gives you a tip about get, uh, getting a getting a Hylian shield, so I wanted to do that to see if there's any dialogue for it if you already have one. Fair enough. And have and have it equipped. Oh, I believe when it's nighttime, actually, there's. I can turn it back. Gold sculptulas. I can turn it back. With this slingshot, I will shoot the sun out of the sky. Works in Skyrim. No, it doesn't. Well, not with a slingshot specifically, but... And I believe there is, uh... There's one sculpture on the stuff that's being built right here. Hmm, where is it? And then there's another one on the really tall ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frozen in the air! Let's see if there's one in here at night. There is. <laughs> Yay. And then the really tall ladder. Yep. We'll do gold we'll be doing gold sculpts of the cleanup after after a while, once you have all the items that you would need in order to get to them. Makes sense. Rather than send you somewhere and be like, all right, you can get one of the sculptures here. We'll be back for the other three later. Interesting Rhino, enough, you know how this is going to end. <laughs> I, I admittedly was not paying attention. I was looking at the moon and thinking about the crow sounds. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they use the exact same crow sound in uh, Glover. There's a lot of stock sound effects that get used everywhere. I should have just let you keep climbing and run into it. Maybe I should have let that happen. Yeah, I thought what you said. It's that top ladder. I was like, okay, it's at the platform. <laughs> I mean, all I said it was on the ladder. That's all I said. All right, now can I make it day? Uh, why not just show the guy the thing first and then head out? Because it's dark. He can't read it. <laughs> It'll be fine. He has dark vision. From behind him, Jesus. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Rhino. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. And just putting it out there, huh? Okay. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. <laughs> Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... 
Well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> okay, man. <laughs> and I guess there's no dialogue for you clearly having the shield. Death Mountain Trail. Oh, right. We got the little jumpy ba bastard. Tektites. Oh shit, that music started up early. I was wondering how long he was going to be able to effortlessly evade me. <laughs> Let me just jump right into your waiting maw. Toothy maw. Secretly, that cuckoo we hear at the beginning of every morning isn't the sound cue, it's just that chicken in my pocket. <laughs> you don't even have it anymore. Rhino. Ah! <laughs> that was an extra long jump. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll go back to sleep. Oh? I want <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, no, I'm going with it. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. <sighs> Look at that huge boulder over there. Me. It blocks the entrance to Dodongo's Cover, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. Why did you call it Goron's Cavern, then? But one day, many Dudongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. Oh, you changed the name. Okay, got it. <laughs> On top of that, a Garuda with black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder, which I guess, considering it's full of Dudongos, is probably a good thing. I... I guess? <laughs> if you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Gorod City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Cool. I'm, I'm going back to sleep. This uh, is my life. I'm glad you don't mind me just kind of faffing around and doing this at my pace. No, that's fine. That's that's the that's the idea of the game. Just have have fun. I thought that was a giant worm for a second because I currently have one of my eyes closed because it's burning. Oh, so you'll talk to Dave, but not me. I see how it is. Death Mountain Trail. Oh, now you want to talk to me. <laughs> yes. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? I mean, I guess. I forget how the fairies work in this game. Uh, you play Zelda's Lullaby for them, and they give you, uh, some sort of upgrade. Uh, I got too used to how it works in, uh, Majora's Mask. Was that a... Was that a Goron yeah. or a Boulder? Goron. Okay. Is Zelda's Lullaby right here to get hearts right? I... It's... There's a few possible songs I don't know. I guess you could try Zelda's Lullaby. Oh, Wrong one. Wrong. X A Y. I'm glad to see this is still consistent. <laughs> it's a different song then. The stick song. Whack whack whack. <laughs> whack whack whack. <laughs> Rocks. I forget, is this a thing? Uh, you can't do anything with it yet, but eventually, yes. Ooh. 
that's a big ass cave pig I never noticed. Hmm. Can't uh... do dongo. Oh, okay. Shooting fire. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, Dudongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. Rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Dudongo's Cavern. That seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Hmm. Uh, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from Dudago's Cavern. Uh-oh. <laughs> well. Good job. Good, now we don't have to listen to that sound. <laughs> I can just go in here, right? No? You have to do something first. Uh. No. Right, I'll play the song. Oh, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I was about to go light all the torches. <laughs> That gets the thing spinning. Right. Right, right. Oh. X. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You gotta play it eventually, Rhino! <laughs> I was trying to make more words. <laughs> you can do Y-A-R-R-R, -R -R, be a pirate. Rally! Yeah. Alright, anyways. Do yar. Yar, yar. Oh. What? <laughs> I thought I played a bonus for a second. <laughs> Somewhere far away, Zelda just conks out. Why do you need to play this song to enter the door of your chief? It's it's ba it's the song that basically goes, "Hey, a member of the royal family is here," so he op he opens the door for you. Uh, I see. But better. <laughs> you just walk in and smash his pots. <laughs> Not even gonna talk to him. I'm trying to line up. I will now play you the song of my people. I bow in respect. <laughs> <laughs> but only in one frame. I will now play you the song of my people. Yar har fiddle dee dee. <laughs> so, oh God, how do I, how do I, what do I do for his voice now? Be buff. What the heck? Who are you? What do you mean? I'm just, I'm a pot inspector. <laughs> Seems dang. <laughs> I'm a PI, a pot inspector. <laughs> When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Oh, sorry, I, for I forgot my red mailman's hat. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, 
really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? The who? I've only heard about a princess. There's been no king mentioned. No, I'm really angry. Get out of, uh, get out of my face. I'm hiccuping now. God. You want to wrestle? <laughs> Aren't you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Sure, why not? Ancient creatures have infested New Dahl's cavern! Ancient creatures called, um. Dodongos? We've had a. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bug flowers! Wait, I thought it was because your food's in there. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage! Ah, there it is. I've got these goddamn hiccups that make me interrupt every time I'm speaking! Except <laughs> for this side right now for some reason! <laughs> Look, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to read the actual line instead of improv. <laughs> this is a Goron problem. Is it though? We don't need any help from strangers. Hi, I'm Rhino. Now we're friends. <laughs> this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Really? Oh, wait, I spelled it wrong. Really? Are you... Crap, there's no S. Sure. Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> You're a meanie. I gotta keep up the humor somehow. Alright, now light all the torches. <laughs> uh, Actually, right. no, don't, no, because we're ending the episode. Oh, is it that time for the song already? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Zelda. <laughs> Zelda falls asleep again. Uh. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Took you long enough. See you next time, folks. <laughs>